3. Hi everyone, so today we are going to be making Turkish jajuk. I love how the cucumber gives it that crunch and I love how the fresh dough gives it that bit of a tiny kick. Now, to start you'll need to um, cut your cucumber into cute into tiny cubes like this. Make sure to peel it before you cut it. You um you don't have to do that, but I want to. And then over here in our bowl, um you you'll need a big bowl, and then you just put in five tablespoons of plain yogurt. Now um if you, and this recipe makes two servings, um, so you don't have to do five tablespoons. Um, if you want more servings, but I'm just going to do two servings today. Okay, now, um, when you dumped all that yogurt in, you'll need half a cup of cold water. You need to make sure this is cold water. And this jajuk will have that soupy texture and so like kind of a watery texture. You're going to use a whisk or a big spoon to just stir this all together. Make, um, it's okay if there are tiny lo yogurt lumps in it anyway, like it doesn't have to be to total watery. Just mix it in as best as you can until it feels like all the lumps are gone. Feels like that to me. And then we're going to add in all the rest of our remaining ingredients. You will need, you will need a quarter teaspoon of cr crushed garlic. You will need to do crushed garlic um, because you need to follow the recipe for that. It needs to be crushed, the point. So it needs to be crushed. And then you'll add in about, um, you'll add in some fresh dill. Make sure to finally mince that. We need to mince that perfectly. Then we'll add in all of our cucumbers. Okay, after you added all that in, use a spoon to stir this all together. I'm using a spoon to stir this all together because, um, see those tiny lines on the whisks? Um, um, the, all the ingredients will get stuck on those lines, so I'm not using a whisk. You can if you want to, but it will be way harder. See, no thing stuck. And then you have yourself fresh jajuk.